This is a video on working out the relative formula mass, the number of moles you have, and then in a second video I'm going to be moving on to balancing equations and working out how much product we have by the example giving us a figure. So first of all, the relative formula mass, we might be given a compound like MgO. And in order to find out the relative formula mass, we very simply just need to add up the individual parts of this compound. So MgO, you can see over here that Mg has a relative mass of 24, oxygen a 16. So 24 plus 16 equals 40. So the relative formula mass of magnesium oxide is 40. And it really is as simple as that. And what's more, there's another very simple thing. If we were going to have a mole of this, and a mole is a chemistry uh, description for, in fact, a huge number of uh, particles. There's always the same number of particles in a mole for every single uh, compound or element. And we simply do this very complex thing and I want you to watch this carefully because if you miss it you might think oh my goodness how did that work I just do this did you see it add a G a mole is the relative formula mass in grams so we know that one mole of magnesium oxide has a mass of 40 grams that enables us to work out how much of a mole we have. If we know that 40 grams of magnesium oxide equals one mole, we can do two things. We can work out that 10 grams of magnesium oxide equals 10 over 40 equals 0.25 moles. The other thing we can do is if we were asked to calculate the mass of half a mole, we can do 40 times 0.5 equals 20 grams. So once we know how much one mole has a mass of, we can work out both how many moles we've got this way, or how much the mass will be of a certain number of moles. They are building blocks to the quantitative chemistry, so we do need to feel comfortable with that, guys. So if there are any queries, you need to make sure that you go over this again or ask me if there's any problems. We can always also work out the percentage of a part of a compound. So if we have MgO, and they asked us what percentage mass is mg. Well, the whole mass is 40, and, and mg represents 24 out of that 40. So it's 24 out of the 40 times 100. And you can do that on a calculator. And so that would be the relative percentive percentage of magnesium in magnesium oxide. So that's pretty straightforward, guys. We have learnt, one, how to do the relative formula mass of MgO, which is 24 plus 16 equals 40. And we have learnt adding a G gives the mass of the mole of any substance. And three, the relative percent of a particular part of a compound, like magnesium in magnesium oxide. So short, sharp podcast on those three. Relative formula mass, what a mole is, the mass of a mole, and the relative percentage mass of an individual element within a compound. Any questions, 
Please enjoy.